Hi guys, welcome to Pabli Connect Workshop. So in this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Google Sheets and GetResponse. Our use case is pretty simple. When a new data is inserted in Google Sheet, it will create a contact in GetResponse. Now Google Sheet is your favorite online spreadsheet program and GetResponse is an email marketing tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Google Sheet to GetResponse. But there is one minor problem. Google Sheet and GetResponse are two different applications. Hence, there is no data flow between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and GetResponse. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done in two easy steps. Let me show you on my screen. So first of all, you have to visit the website called as Pabli.com. Pabli dot com press enter okay so this is the website hover on products and you will find the option called as connect at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click this and then go to sign in click this okay so this is the dashboard of Pabli connect as you can see I already have an account in Pabli connect you can build your own account in just two minutes now scroll down and here you will find the option called as connect and click on access now at the top right corner you will find a button called as create workflow click this a dialog box appears in front of you it is asking you to give a name to this workflow i am going to give it as google sheets to get response google sheets to get response then click on create when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, change it from webhook to google sheets. In the choose method, let's keep it as new spreadsheet row. So the new spreadsheet row is basically a trigger. It basically means whenever a new row is updated or inserted in google sheet, it will start sending a message. However, if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate public.com for the specific trigger that you want to make. So at present, let's keep it as new spreadsheet row. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect Google Sheets to Public Connect. So let me show you my Google Sheet. So this is my Google Sheet. It has been titled Google Sheets to get response. And these are the columns. Column A shows name, column B is for email and the column C is for auto responding days. Okay, so we are going to connect this Google Sheet to Public Connect. So to connect Google Sheets to Public Connect, let's go to this place called as Add-ons. Click this. A drop-down emerges. Here you will find the option called as Public Connect Webhook. So this is showing because Public Connect Webhook is installed in my system. In your case, this add-on might not be present. So to get this add-on, just click on Get Add-ons. When you click on Get Add-ons, G Suite Marketplace opens up. So in the search, you have to find Pabli Connect. This one, Pabli Connect Webhooks. As you can see, the button is showing that it is already installed in my system. Just click it and you can have it installed in your system also. But before you start working with this add-on, remember to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay? So let's close this, go back to add-ons, Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. It is showing you two blanks, webhook URL and the trigger column. To get the webhook URL, just go to Public Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want and paste it here. Now coming to trigger column. We are going to keep the trigger column as C. So the obvious question is why we are keeping the trigger column as C. The trigger column is kept as C because C is our last data entry column. As you may remember, since it is uh, hidden behind this window, the trigger column, the last data entry column was C. That was for the auto responding days. Okay, so that is why we have kept the trigger column as C. If the trigger, if the last data entry column was E, we would have kept the trigger column as E. So always the last data entry column is always the trigger column. So basically now we have connected Google Sheets to Public Connect. Now let's see whether Public Connect can capture any data from Google Sheets. To do that, let's go to Public Connect and click on Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is showing that it is waiting for a data. So let's send the data from Google Sheet to Public Connect. So we are going to click on Send Test. 
Okay, so it is showing that the test data has been sent. So let's see whether Public Connect has captured this data. Yes, the data has been captured. The name is Dean, the email is Winchester265 and the autoresponder days is 3. Okay, basically it has captured all the data that was present in Google Sheet. The name was Dean, the email is Winchester265 and the autoresponding days was uh, 3. Okay, it is actually hidden behind this uh, window. I'm sorry about that. So basically all the data has been captured by Paply Connect. Now we have to sync this data to get response. To do that, just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to get response. In the choose method, since we are only interested in creating a contact, let's keep it as create a new contact. So as you may know, there are many action types available other than create a contact like create a tag, update a tag, create a campaign, send transactional email, get a contact by ID, get new contact with custom fields and more. However, in case if you don't find the action of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific action type that you want to make. Okay, so at present, let's keep it as create a new contact. Then click on connect with get response. In select your credentials, let's keep it as new credentials. In the header, you have a blank to fill. It is called as the API key. To get the API key, just click on here. Okay. In the blue, just click on here. So this is the API page of get response. We are going to generate a new API key. So to do that, just click on generate API key. So we want to enter a API key name. I'm going to give it as let's say RTI or something. Okay. That would do. Then click on generate. Okay, so as you can see, a new key called as RTA has been created. Copy this and paste it here. However, before you click on save, there is something you should know. The API format is API-key and the API key. Okay, so we have got the API key, the original API key. But before that, we have to just copy this and paste it here. This is the format we want and enter a space okay api dash key space and the original api key then click on save when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this blank is we are going to create a prototype of the subscriber in get response using the data that we have received from google sheets so in the campaign it is showing ashirai 8 to 4 so this is my list and these are the campaigning list I have awesome 21 smash campaign all might and ashirai 8 to 4 so let me show you all of them all might smash campaign and awesome 21 so basically it has already mapped all the details from get response okay so at present let's keep it as ashirai 8 to 4 in the name required we are going to map in the name that we have got from google sheet so these three horizontal lines are called as the mapping button so click this and this is the name we want just map it similarly with the email let's go to the mapping button and let's map the email the day of the cycle we are going to enter a value for the autoresponder so the autoresponder days is three in the tag id it is showing it as bum so let me show you all my tags so these are the tags bum demo down testing and toning so uh, let me show you all the tags that it has mapped so bum demo down and testing so let's keep it as tony for a while okay then click on save and send test request okay so it has sent the data so let's see whether we have a person called as dean that was the name right and this is the email dean in our uh, get response contact list so these are the list and I was interested in Ashirai. Yes, we have a person, we have a contact called as Dean. And this is the email, winchester265 at the rate gmail.com. So the presence of this data shows that we have successfully connected Google Sheets and get response using Pabli Connect. This means anytime a new data is entered in Google Sheet, a contact will be automatically created in get response. But we want to double check it if the integration is working fine or not. So let's enter our data one more time in Google Sheet. But before that, let me show you my Pabli Connect, the gist of the whole process. Let's minimize this and let's minimize this. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Pabli Connect 
and then you integrated Pebble Connect to Get Response. Now there is a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Get Response. Okay, so let's go to Google Sheets, click on Submit, go back to Add ons once more, Pebble Connect, and this time click on Send on Event. This will ensure that the data will be automatically sent to Get Response. So let's enter a name. I'm going with uh, Sam. Sam345 at the rate gmail.com. So autoresponder days is let's say two. Okay. So let's see whether we have a person called as Sam in get response. So refreshing this. Yes, we have a person called as Sam and the email address is Sam345 at the rate gmail.com. Basically, all the data that was present here is being sent here. Okay. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, whenever a new data is entered in Google Sheet, it will be automatically reflected in Get Response. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.